Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in the, uh, the last video I was talking about uh, the Kickstarter project and doing a small scale sculpture of the, uh, the blade car and I want to do like a kind of art, uh, an artistic version of, of the car in small scale and here's where I had some pictures of the scale that I want to go with and I'm going to use this to kind of overlay on some clay and what I've done in, in my little oven is I took a whole bunch of clay of the, the industrial design clay stuff that I have been using and I put it into a pan and I made a little temporary pan <laughs> and I uh, basically melted the whole thing down into a big chunk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a big solid block to sculpt with and what I'll do is I'll just uh, use my sheets that I have here so I have like this that I'll overlay on top and I'll try to use this as a guide to help me sculpt out of this big chunk of uh, clay and get an accurate representation of the car um, onto this and then I'll have this molded uh, and, and duplicated so in kind of a, a resin bronze uh, compound or whatever so I don't know it's kind of all new to me so I may not fully know exactly what I'm talking about because <laughs> I'm not really a sculptor at all even though I've sculpted this whole thing uh, I, this is, you know, kind of new somewhat to me, and I haven't really sculpted small little figures or uh, cars or anything at this level. So this will be an interesting project, and I think it will be good to, uh, for you guys to kind of follow the progress and everything. So, uh, so anyway, so that will be something different. Um, so what i got to do now is i got to take this out of the, the container, and then I have to make a stand for it to sit on and then I'll have some nails sticking up uh, or screws to hold this block in place so that I can work on the piece and carve it without it moving around and stuff. So I will show that as I uh, make it and um, keep you updated on this as I go. So, and here's a big old chunk of clay. Uh, oh. <laughs> so what I usually do is I heat this up and uh, in a pan, mainly that little pan here. And then, because what happens is I carve it, and let me show you. So I carve it, and it comes up into these little shavings, and I want to reuse it. So you can't just mash this together. It doesn't really hold, uh, it, it's real brittle, and you really need to melt it back together. So what I do is I melt it in a pan, um, and then I pour it out on this piece of paper, and I spread it to where it's about a you know quarter inch thick or so and this gets rid of all the the air bubbles for the most part and it allows me to break off chunks and then I can just heat these up uh, with with my heat gun and apply it onto whatever I need to uh, sculpt with and that just helps me you know it's just helps me with uh, some of that stuff so that's what I've been doing that's how I've been doing the door panel and things because uh, this stuff you really have to heat it up pretty hot <laughs> to work with it and um, and all that so so yeah so anyway that is about that what I'll do next is uh, make the stand for the uh, the sculpture piece and then I'll start sculpting and so I'll keep you guys uh, updated on that
Alright guys, um, I just got through making a stand uh, for the big chunk of clay that I'm going to end up modeling. So, just to give you an idea, it's all heavy. So this is on a big piece of, uh, what, what is that, 3 quarter inch MDF. And that's just a 2x4 and then there's a little plate of a quarter inch MDF underneath. And then I have uh, two, goodness, I have two screws that stick up and are basically holding this down. And it has a little bit of wiggly wobbly to it. So I may have to put another brace on it if it gets too much. Um, but I think it's going to work out for, for now. And uh, I had to shave some of the stuff off, apparently some of the foil. Like I laid this into a pan that I kind of made and then I put foil in it so it wouldn't leak out of that pan and then one of the folds of the foil got stuck in between uh, some of the clay. So I had clay over here and a piece of foil and then clay so I had to just chop all that off. So it's a little shorter than which I knew it was going to be because the pan was 10 inches and my model's 10 inches so I knew I was going to have to uh, expand it. <laughs> uh, but basically this will go there and I'll have to add probably you know I don't know it's pretty close to the size but I'll probably have to build it up uh, just about a half inch on the ends and maybe a little bit on top um, just to shave it back down to get the right you know proportions and things but uh, so far things are gonna work out okay and you know from all my YouTubing of other people that actually are good at sculpting. This is kind of what a lot of them do is they put it on a big base to sculpt on so they can get underneath and around the edges and all that. Uh, so I'm going to do the same uh, with this and this model is going to be like I said it's going to be an artistic piece so uh, I'm thinking about doing a shape you know of the car but I'm not going to have the wheels or tires that's going to be like the kind of an artistic streamline um, sculpture piece and and so I want to have it and then I'll have it on a piece where it's kind of zooming you know uh, like on a base but I don't know we'll see that that's all new uh, ideas at the moment so I'm sure it'll change a hundred times as I go along but anyway just wanted to show you where I was at at this uh, first stage before I start actually doing the sculpting and everything um, all right so that's the end of this video and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.